This absolutely stunning beauty of a knife is the Jack Wolf Knives Venom Jack. Uh, this is the December 2022 release, and it's my first uh, Jack Wolf Knife with this sort of camo carbon, uh, fat carbon fiber, and it with that blue and purple, and man alive, is that gorgeous. Just, this is an awesome knife. I want to thank Ben Belkin. Ben, thank you so much for sending this. Uh, this is such a gorgeous knife, and uh, I'm honored to be a part of the Jack Wolf, uh, you know, history here and getting to check out these knives as they first uh, come out to the open market. I'm really appreciative because these things are amazing. You know, I love slip joints, and these are designed and built to the absolute nines. And, um, man, I'm really psyched about uh, having this. This one uh, has a lot of interesting features uh, that sort of distill some things that I like out of some of the other Jack Wolf knives um, and put them into this. And namely, um, sort of the blade of the, the um, oh, what the hell was this one called? Laid Back Jack that... Uh, that Warncliffe blade, except here on the Venom Jack, broadened and made larger, just wider. And then sort of the ergonomics of the dog leg. Now, I know um, this is a different shape, uh, but but it has a pleasing feel that, uh, that the Venom Jack uh, sort of evokes. Now, the Venom Jack is based more on a trapper. That handle is based on a trapper. Here is a uh, traditional uh, case trapper and you can see how it's got that upward sort of bulbous end uh, for grip. Now uh, Ben has sort of exaggerated it here uh, to great ergonomic effect. Now this is a little bit shorter than a traditional uh, trapper. Uh, traditional trappers are usually pretty big um, but it's really that shape of the handle that's the important part here. So a really great, great handle shape for a really nice ergonomics. Uh, now, as I mentioned, uh, the dog leg, I, I get that same sort of feel from this. Nicely rounded, fits all my little folds and <laughs> and lumps. I don't know how else to put it, but uh, same thing here, but very different shape. Um so as with all Jack Wolf knives, you have a an M390 blade, uh, fully uh, full height hollow grind. All of them have a full height hollow grind, except for the Benny's clip so far. And um, boy, that uh, full height hollow grind gives you wickedly sharp blades and extremely slicey and acute uh, edges. Uh, not to mention points and tips. This one's got a little gunk on it. Um, this has been used as a steak knife, which is not my first choice because of that blade shape. You know, I prefer um, I prefer something that with belly that curves upward. But the day I got this, we went out for dinner and uh, I ordered a steak. And of course, this is what I had on me. Um, and it worked great, believe it or not. But uh, yeah, of course, in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, as I pull that tip across the porcelain plate, it's going to dull and round over. Of course, it's not. This is M390. <clears throat> and the blade is so damn sharp, I didn't have to exert any pressure anyway. It just glided right through it. Uh, one thing I really love about the blade here that you don't see in the in the uh, laid back jack, which is what I was using for comparison, is a sort of downward raking to the edge. If we align the spines in a straight line here, you'll see that the um, the Venom Jack, the edge just comes down at more of an angle, um, putting the tip a little bit lower and also um, resulting in a, a little triangle so that when you're pulling this through the material, um, it gets pulled into the, the small apex of that triangle accelerating the cut. Kind of uh, the same sort of effect you get from a recurve. Um, that's what you get from that downward um, angle. Really, I really like that uh, 
on this knife. I like the way it uh, behaves, especially, like I said, in cutting meat, it was very nice. I also like how it looks. And you know that uh, looks mean something to me. I know that's superficial, uh, but what can I say? Look at this. Look at this carbon fiber. This is really something. Really something. Now compare that to this carbon fiber, which is also very sumptuous, nice carbon fiber, but just a different different beast. He's putting, uh, Ben is putting so many cool uh, different cover materials on each new uh, knife that when this thing is all said and done and he's got a year's worth of knives, there are going to be so many different, they all come in natural uh, green and black micarta for the most part. And then they all come in like two varieties of of uh, carbon fiber. And so there are going to be so many versions of these knives and people are going to start selling them and swapping them and trying to get their hands on all of them. And man, I totally, totally understand the, um, the instinct. Um, as with all Jack Wolf knives, the bolster and the liner are one piece of titanium. Um, and so you have two of those pieces and they're uh, put together with the spring in the middle. But what I'm saying is that the liner and the bolster themselves are one piece and then they have a slot cut out of there perfectly milled for uh, the cover and then it's all hafted smoothly. Uh, and like almost all other uh, Jack Wolf knives except for the Cyborg Jack, they are fluted. Some of them are double or triple fluted, I believe, but uh, you got that nice fluting there. I like that. That's a, just a nice um, slip joint aficionado touch. Now, Ben Belkin, who who is the, the guy behind Jack Wolf Knives, is a slip joint aficionado. He's got his own collection of custom slip joints to beat the band, and uh, he just knows... He just knows uh, slip joints in and out. Look, you can see, oh, I've got a little schmutz there. Got to clean that out. But you can see there that at the half stop, uh, which is nice, strong half stop there. Uh, so you can close this one hand and not worry about this closing on you. Uh, but the spring is nicely flush in that position, in that position, and in the closed position. Just a very, very nicely done slip joint knife. Great walk and talk. Um, I'm going to give it a seven, seven and a half. I don't know. Uh, some people, well, like Ben, uh, Ben is one of them, rate the, the open and the closing uh, because they are different. Uh, I don't know if, if, I, <laughs> if I'm that attuned to really say that. So I'll call it a seven and a half maybe seven and three quarters uh, in terms of pull, uh, but just beautiful walk and talk. I could do that all day. Man, okay, so you can remove these covers with those springs and then that reveals uh, the inner workings. Uh, so you can take these apart. I haven't and uh, I don't plan to, I just don't. Uh, I'm not one of those guys who must tinker with all of his gear, especially not something like this. This is just a beautiful, beautiful user knife. Oh, another another little detail here. Usually the springs on these knives come all the way up to about here, but he stopped it short there so he could maximize the amount of blade he could fit into that bolster without being able to get your finger in there. So he just really pushed it to the limit, and I love that. And that meant sacrificing a little bit of that that spring, which is only really an aesthetic sacrifice, and and maybe you don't even think it is. I don't really think it is. There's that's how they usually terminate. They come up higher. So this, I think will be, now I say this often, but um, I think that this will be probably, uh, this This just came out uh, this on Friday. I think that this is going to be the most popular of the bunch uh, because it's got uh, everything. It's got a really nice, uh, ample 
and ergonomically excellent handle. It's got some great handle materials to offer. And then it's got this big, broad, yet still fully hollow ground uh, Warncliffe blade. Just a great blade for doing work. And I think uh, people will gravitate towards that. And then the way they're built, they're built like absolute trucks. I mean, this thing is a an absolute tank of a of a slip joint knife. Uh, it's funny, I, I have an abiding love for all slip joints. I have a bunch of uh, Rough Riders. I have a bunch of uh, Great Eastern Cutleries. Um, here's here's a, a great example of a trapper. Uh, this, they call this their Improved Trapper uh, with a Warren Cliff. So I love these knives, but um, I love them for different reasons than than the Jack Wolf. Jack Wolf is just, uh, if I can say it, feels like a hard use slip joint. <laughs> it's really built like that. So um, absolute love for this thing. Uh, let me let me just show you real quickly before I dip uh, with a Swiss Army knife, just so you can get a feel for the size. And then again, uh, with the Case Trapper, uh, a good example of, of most trappers out there. And then why not? The GEC Improved Trapper. No doubt, also a very beautiful knife. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for watching my video on the uh, Jack Wolf Knives Venom Jack. What a thing of beauty. All right, thanks for watching.